So Ask Rail, you know, I get a lot of questions every day through text, through social media, people just asking general information. They just want questions about advice with their kids, um, with their teams, coaching, anything. And I want to be able to answer a lot of that stuff. So we're going to do these Ask Rail questions. All this stuff, stuff will be posted out there on YouTube. If you have a question, we'll probably maybe put a link somewhere where you can see um, how, to, how to submit those questions. But so I have a question from one guy on IG. He says, how can I get my son to be aggressive when playing? One-on-one, -on -one, he is good. We'll take his man off the dribble and beat him every time. But in a team setting, none of it translates over. And he, and he always looks lost, out of place. Doesn't play like himself. I see this in all sports he plays. He's turning 11 this weekend, by the way. He got cut from an AAU team. But I, I hear a coach say something I've been thinking and that was for him to be more aggressive. Okay, well, this is a popular one. Get this one probably the most, is um, if, you're, if you're struggling with confidence, if your kid is struggling with confidence and it's not transferring over, my belief of doing this for 10 years and, and trying to work this out when kids come in every week and tell me that this is going on, the only way, not the only way, the best way to make things translate is to make them match up. So when you're training or practicing, if it's not like the game, what, what does that mean, like the game? If it doesn't look like the game, feel like the game, sound like the game, but most importantly, if your mindset is not the same as it is in the game, you're training two different things. You have a practice and you have a game. They're never matching up. You do two different things. You need to do the same thing all the time. So there's a, there's a process in, in just trying to take time to getting kids to even take it that serious, right? But what you can directly impact is do live things. You need to practice live. So if you struggle handling the basketball, um, you need to get put in situations more where you gotta handle the basketball live in those uncomfortable situations when you practice and when you train. If it's, you don't, you don't wanna let open shots go, you don't wanna shoot open shots, whatever it is, you gotta figure out a way to put them around, and it doesn't matter who it is, get kids from down the street, Get his brothers and sisters. Get get anybody, cause something is better than nothing. Get get people to get in a situation, to get in a group setting, a game like setting where you can construct drills, construct situations that mimic what happens in the games. And then you have to have some intuition to understand how and when to punish the kid, because sometimes you get those kids in a situation and they're still very relaxed. They feel like there's no punishment for not doing well. You got to come up with some type of punishment. You have to figure out a way to put that game stress onto them. So that, that is it. Figure out how to practice and train the way that it mentally feels in the game. Ask your questions to me. I want to continue helping you guys out. RelAcademy.com for all the information about what we do and how we could possibly help you.